Big boy's already at the spot. I want to go grab his corn. You waiting? You hungry? Clean this water bucket. Now it's nice and clean. Here's fresh water. Now you got corn. Oh, look who came back too. Thumper. Yeah, Thumper. Of course you come back. Thumper knows the sound of the corn too now. There you go. There you go. I know, Buck. Buck is probably like, why are you giving my corn away? We're going to give Thumper a little bit of corn, baby. Just a little bit. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have threw the corn there because you're going to be standing there. And Thumper wants corn. Come here, Buck. Here. I'll give you grapes because then this week I changed it up. I bought you new things. So you're not going to have grapes every day. I bought you something different. Well, today you're going to have grapes, but then the rest of the week I got you something different. Oh, Thumper's trying to get to the corn. He's probably like, damn it, he's in the way. Baby. And of course, Alvin, you're here. I know you're here. Alvin's here too. There comes Alvin. Alvin's coming. Hi, Alvin. And Alvin's here. Alvin's like, does she got any peanuts? I wonder. Oh, Thumper, I'll give you more corn, baby. Once I'm done feeding him these grapes. You giving me kisses? Baby. Yeah. You don't want them more? Throw them on the floor? No more? No? You want apples? Okay, I get apples. I figured. That's why I didn't buy you grapes again today. I bought you something different for tomorrow's dinner. You're going to have a different snack. Yeah, you're going to have a different snack tomorrow. Did I cut this apple too wide? I'm sorry. That's so funny that Thumper knows the sound of the corn. So now whenever I dump the corn in the bucket, the little bunny comes too. You are so cute. You guys are so cute. What, is no one there? Who's behind me? There's nobody. There's nobody. There's nobody, silly. Look how cute this is. They're eating together. And Alvin, I think, left. Because Alvin... Yeah. We're gonna try to give Dumper a piece too of an apple. I don't know if Dumper wants a piece of apple. He's trying to get the corn. Here, baby. Yeah, I love you. Wanna smell me? Maybe you smell ginger? I was hanging out with ginger before I came outside. Is that why? I was hanging out with my dog before I came outside because I wanted him to get used to her scent too, just in case of God forbid. She was to run outside for any, just anything. Where are you going? Come on over here, you got more. You got more, big boy. I'm gonna throw them on the ground. Okay, I'll throw some on the ground and I'll throw some in your corn bucket. Dumper wants the corn. Dumper's like walking around Buck right now, like, how am I gonna get to the corn? Baby, I'll throw some corn your way now. Let's see if he eats apple. No, Thumper doesn't like apples, huh? So bunnies don't like apples? I thought they would, I guess not. So far, the only thing I noticed that Thumper does eat is peanuts. When I throw peanuts, he'll eat the peanuts and the corn. I don't see him eating anything else. Like right now, he's trying to get to the corn. Do more. You want me to put these in your bucket? Were you corn? Come here. You put your bucket? Because I know you like everything with your corn now. You like everything mixed with corn. He likes all his stuff mixed with the corn. Okay. And I threw another apple towards Thumper's way. Oh, Thumper's hopping closely back. He's going to get the corn that I threw. Because I threw a few corn there. Oh, baby, now it's eaten. Okay, that's why I threw the apples in the bucket because I knew that bunny was dying to hop his way to get more corn. 
now they're eating together i just hope buck doesn't back up but please don't back up please don't back up and he's here for his dinner he's having his dinner right now and he was on time he was already outside waiting i figured it was five o'clock in a dot when i was in my house i was telling my husband I was like, I have a film Buck is outside waiting. I was like, let me start preparing his apples and get everything done. Because once it hits 5 o'clock on a dot, I know, like, that's Buck's dinner time. So usually by, like, 4.45, 4.50, I already start, like, chopping up the apples and everything. And then by 5, like, literally 5.05, I'm out here walking to the spot. And he's here, of course. And we have Thumper here, too, which is so cute. Thumper's right there behind him. I'm just praying that he doesn't back up. I mean, I know Thumper will, will hop away, but you know, I don't know if earlier this morning was funny because earlier today, Thumper was laying down like next to Buck, like eating. It was so cute. It was the cutest thing. You finished, big boy? You eat all your apples? Did you eat all your apples? Look, you left one more. Want it? Yeah, baby. You left a few apples there. There you go. You guys got more corn too. I threw some corn for Alvin so he doesn't have to worry about jumping. He could fill up his cheeks. He's filling up his cheeks with the corn. And then I gave Thumper some corn. Let's see. Thumper's like, no, no. Don't come too close to me. I know, Buck. You want to be everybody's friend, baby. But you know what it is? Your size, Buck. It's your size. Because you're so big. I sat down and now he's going back to eat his corn. You guys see that? What he just did? I thought he was walking away, but no. And the bunny's like, let me go back here to my spot and finish my corn. It's so cute how I have both of them here today. Like, Dumbbird came back twice. He's been coming back. It's, and it's crazy because now that bunny knows the sound of the corn. Like, when I dump the corn in a bucket... Out of nowhere, you see the bunny just hopping up the hill. And then, of course, but he, like, hears it. And then he comes, too. Like, let's say if he wasn't here, if I had a call buck and he wasn't at the spot, he would have came up right after the bunny. <laughs> it's cute. I, I think it's so cute how they both eat together. I don't have nothing. Did you eat your grapes? Yeah. I love you. Oh, you got a big tick. Come here, let me get it. He has a big tick. Let me see. Let me see. I'm trying to scratch it off, but I can't get it. Ah, oh, he has a tick underneath his neck. But how am I going to get it? Come here. Come here, let me get it. Let me get it. Come here. Let me see. Up, put your head up where I can see it. Got it. Okay, I got it. I got it, baby. I got it all for you. Now, hopefully... I heard moles eat bugs. So, I'm praying to God that the moles eat the ticks that are on the ground. Oh, that tick was, like, blown up. I know I was supposed to kill it, guys, but I ended up flinging it. I know. I messed up again. I know. Everybody's probably like, why did she remove the ticks and just throw them back in there? I know. But I did. But at least now it's off his face. That's all that matters. I threw it somewhere here in the side. I should have killed it, but it's just, I guess, so like skewed out. You know, the minute I touch it, I guess it'll skewed out. I gotta spray him, but I don't wanna spray him yet. I should spray him because if he's getting ticks again, that means the spray is wearing off. I gotta put the spray on stream. Hold on, guys. Okay. Now I got the spray on stream because I want to spray him soon. I just don't want it to go on the bunny. I don't want to get the bunny, but it's okay. It's okay, Buck. No, the spray is no good. I got to go back to stream. Spray is no good. The spray doesn't get far. The stream, when you, sp when you put the sprayer on the stream, it sprays. Yeah, like this is going to spray farther out. Watch. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy. That's it, no more. I'm not gonna spray you no more. I just did two spritz. Cause I don't want the smell to go by 
any of the little ones. I mean, it's not going to do nothing to them, but I don't know if it's going to bother them. I don't want to get in their little eyes. But we got Buck. I sprayed him. And I got that tick off of his neck because he had a tick on his neck. It was like blown up. It was a black tick. And it was like big, blown up. I just literally just scratched it off of him. <laughs> he probably just felt his ears getting wet, maybe, the spray. Baby, I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry, Buck. It's going to help you. I know it probably feels a little weird, but it's going to help you. And at least mommy took that tick off of your neck. Because you did have a tick on your neck, baby. Now it's not on there no more. You should feel better. I think deers are prone to get like, you know, that they get ticks so much on them. I think it's the reason is because like, you know, remember they sleep in the forest, in the woods. And, you know, they're sleeping curled up on the floor. Like, you know, like the way dogs sleep curled up on the floor. They probably sleep like that with their heads laying either on the ground so remember, what's in the forest and what's in the woods, on the ground, ticks, fleas, like, you know, all that stuff. So I'm assuming that's why he's always going to have like a tick or two on him. But thank God I removed it, the one on his neck. He literally had one like right by the white part of his neck when he walked up to the spot. I was petting him and I felt something weird. But I scratched it out, like I plucked it off of him. The only thing I should have killed it. I know. I know you guys are probably thinking in your heads like she's stupid. She should have killed it. But the only reason why I didn't kill it because I felt so like eat out. It just feels so gross, you know? It feels really, really gross. Hey, you want grapes? I don't think the bunny likes grapes either, but it's okay. I know the squirrels do, so the squirrels will be eating them. Yeah, because I was thinking about it. I don't want to give Buck grapes every day. I want to stop, like, with the grapes a little bit. Because I was thinking maybe it's too much sugar. Like, with grapes and apples. Because apples have sugars. The grapes have sugars. So, what I bought him, that's going to be a different treat. That's going to, I'm going to, like, take out the grapes and add something else instead of the grapes. Tomorrow's dinner is, I bought him the long stem carrots. Not the baby organic ones that he does not like, because I've tried those before. I bought him the regular carrots, like the long ones. Regular, big, large carrots. So I want to try that on him tomorrow to see if he likes it. I'm going to try it. I'll give it to him in a piece. I'll give it, First, I'll try like the whole thing, see if he's willing to eat the whole thing as it is. If not, then I'll try to cut it. And I bought him blueberries, because I've noticed that he likes blueberries. And I've noticed blueberries, they're not like sweet, sweet, like grapes so i don't want this poor deer to get diabetes you know like i don't know if deers could get diabetes but i was thinking about it i was like let me calm down with the grapes let's let me not give him grapes every day so that's why the grapes that i have left in there that's it after today he's not gonna get them not that he's not gonna get them ever again i'm gonna give it to him again probably you know a few weeks from now but i want to switch it up <laughs> they're all scattering you guys are all scattering Hey guys, I'm going to throw the grapes on the floor now, and whoever eats it, eats it. Yeah. Look at that baby. That's somebody that's walking down the road. And throw some grapes there for the squirrels. That's it. We got rid of the grapes. Okay. Ah, now I can sit down. Yeah, so before I should have killed that tick, I really regret not killing him. I'm an idiot. Because now I could go on, on top of another animal. Oh, I don't know. Does the tick die? Like once it's like really, really big. Because it like when I pulled it out, it was like it blew. Like, you know, when they blow up when they suck too much blood. Do they die after that? Or will it just become skinny again since I didn't kill him? And it'll go on top of another animal. Like, I wonder how that works. Boop. I hope not. Oh, my God. How cute. Look at them. Oh, my God. I don't know if Buck was trying to... <laughs> You guys are too funny. That's why, Alvin, you get me nervous, man, when you go by his feet. Look at him, he goes by his feet. <laughs> look at them, they both wanna be, well, I think they wanna be close to the food right now. Oh, you looking for more corn? All right, Thumper, you, I see you little one trying to go in a bucket. Okay, I threw some corn towards Thumper, which I know once Buck gets out of the way, Thumper will be coming back to eat more corn. All right, guys, I'm going to go now. I'm probably going to hang out here a little bit longer, and then I got to go inside. 
to go feed Ginger her dinner because then it's going to be her dinner time. Oh my God, Thumper froze. He looks like he wants to run to the corn, but he froze. He's like, should I go or should I not? <laughs> but I will be back tomorrow morning with another video. Thank God I got that tick off of his neck. I mean, I know I should have killed it, but listen, as long as it's off of him, I don't care, you know? And tomorrow, if he comes with another tick that where it's noticeable that I could get it, it'll be like, you know, when they're on his ears, it's harder for me to pull them out. I can't do it. I can only do it when they're on his face. If they're on his face, I could take them out. Like he'll let me. But when they're on, come here. When they're on his, um, his ears, his body, like that, I can't do. Like, thank God he let me take out the one that was on his neck. I think he's starting to understand that I help him, you know? Like I try to make his life a little easier and that I help him with the ticks and that. Aww, it threw some corn there for Thumper because I know this one. And tomorrow I want to try to give the pieces of carrots to Thumper too because I'm sure the rabbits should love carrots. It's like, you know, rabbits and carrots, they go to. So let's see. Tomorrow I'm going to try to give a little bit of carrots to Thumper too. Oh, now he's eating the grapes that I threw. There you go. All right, everyone, I'll be back tomorrow morning with another video. It was fun. I can't believe 16 minutes passed by already. I can't believe 16 minutes passed by. Oh, my baby, you thanking me? Are you thanking me? Yeah. I love you. I love you, Buck. Where's my big boy? Where's my big boy? He always ends like his dinner now with giving me kisses. It's like a new thing now. Right? Come here. Where's my big boy? Where's my big boy? He's so cute. And I love, I kind of love it. Like when he, not that I love when he gets nervous, but when he does get a little bit nervous, like let's say if there's too much traffic down the road in the street or there's people walking by, He'll move closer to the fence when I'm outside, like when I'm here with him. I love it's so cute. I'm like, oh, he probably feels so safe. Like, let me get closer to her. Unless he's trying to protect me. I, I don't know. I don't know if deers have that instinct, like, you know, to protect. I don't know. But he definitely knows that I protect him. That I know. Right, Buck? You know I protect you, my big boy. I'm your protector. Yeah. Buck knows. Oh, I hear something buzzing by my ear. All right, guys, ciao for now. I'll be back tomorrow with another video tomorrow morning. And tomorrow I actually have a party that I have to go to, a birthday party. So I'll probably be feeding Buck, not late, but a little bit after five. So his dinner video tomorrow might be like a little late. But I'll be back tomorrow morning with another video, the usual morning videos. And I'm gonna kick, Oh my god, look at Alvin. Let me kick his butt that he gets so close to his feet. I hate when he does that. All right, guys. I'll be back tomorrow morning. I hope everyone has a great night and a great weekend. Oh, I think Chunky's here. I hope everyone has a great weekend. And me and Buck, we will be back tomorrow morning with another video. Ciao for now.